What's poppin'? My little homies and home Falling skillets and home. You. Okay, <laughs> can y'all hear little Cecil? He doesn't like to be left inside alone. He feels like he's being left out of the action. Let me, <laughs> all right, so, this cat came to my front door about a week and a half ago, and uh, it was cold, and he was crying, kind of like he is now. I'm not crying, but meowing. Um, <laughs> so I let him in. I have tried very hard to find his rightful owners, um, but they're just nowhere to be found. Hang on. What? Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> here he is. This is little Cecil. Cecil, say hi. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Hello. No? Why don't you want to say hi? Why? I don't know why he doesn't want to say hello. Don't run away, please. Okay? Don't run away. <laughs> okay. So, where are you going? So, he showed up at my door, meowing like crazy. And, oh, there he is. He's right behind me. You. What are you doing back there? Huh? What? You got something in your eyes. You got gookies in your eyes. There you go. Okay. Can y'all see? <laughs> okay. So, he um, showed up, I checked him over real good for injuries and fleas and mites and ticks and kind of, you know, did him a once over, make sure he was sound body. Uh, Cause if he wasn't, then I would have taken him to a vet, but he was fine. So I had some leftover dog food from I don't know when, and I fed it to him. He ate it, but he didn't love it. So I gave him tuna for a couple days. Everybody settled down. I know, you're not supposed to give cats tuna a lot. But I went and got a bunch of cat food today. I bought some dry, big bag, uh, and I had some canned tuna. God, only, I don't even want to pretend to know. What are you doing up there? Cecil! Cecil! He ain't listening. Um, He's funny though, when he, he's not like a dog, like he wants to go, he wants to go outside, he'll go to the front door and just meow his ass off until I open the front door. And then he takes off, and then I wait a couple hours, and he comes back. I leave the door cracked, he just runs right in, like he fucking lives here. So apparently he lives here now. I've been, what are you doing? So, I've been trying to find, he clearly escaped from somebody's house or ran away. Y'all, I'm bleeding on the side of my head. I used a new razor and cut the shit out of myself. Jabroni. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Why? Why? You're gonna fall! He doesn't listen. Um, he'll be back. He just ate, so he probably wants to run around. I don't know. He still has his little man parts, so... I think he's a little pimp. I might be—he might be running around smashing ass, and then he comes back here to sleep and eat. I don't know. He—he's he's going somewhere, but he always—he comes back. So I don't. What are you doing over there? Hey, come here. So I've got him trained a little bit. I come outside if I don't see him. If I haven't seen him for a couple hours. I come outside and I clap real hard, and then I hear, Meow, and he comes running from the backyard. It's pretty funny. But, he's not stupid. He knows that it's fucking cold outside. So, okay, y'all. Real quick. Fucking Dallas Cowboy fans are pissing me off right now. You motherfuckers need to check yourselves. I don't know what tape you've been watching, or what highlights you've been listening to, or what local dipshit has been pumping y'all's head full of foolishness. You fucking overrated 
jackwad, half a bullshit, barely beat the Giants, a Redskins team with no fucking quarterback. You beat the shit out of the Jaguars, but they fucking suck. So, slow your fucking roll, Cowboys fans. You're about to get fucking lit up. Okay? Just, just so you know. Um, Saints are coming to town. I'm gonna open up a little can of whoop ass. Need y'all need to fucking, I need to bring you clowns back down to earth a little bit. Tired of hearing you run your fucking suck holes all week. Whew, okay, got that out of my system. Um, yeah, this isn't gonna be very long. Man, the, 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 the fucking, the day getting dark at basically 3.30 in the afternoon is really fucking up my filming schedule. He doesn't listen all that well. <laughs> He does respond to my clapping though. Um, but I got a little, uh, like a little pop-up shelter thing for him. I laid down a little, a, a mat and some, some of my merino wool sweatshirts. So if he winds up staying out too late with the ladies or whatever he's doing, um, at least he'll have a little warm fucking spot to get into if I don't hear him at the front door. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna keep him, so I'm gonna have to take him to the vet, get him tested for heartworms, get him a fucking series of shots, um, get his, uh, get him, get him fixed, and get him on some frontline flea prevention. I only had a cat one other time. But it really wasn't my cat. It was like the neighbor's cat. It just kind of like this. He just started coming around, or she started coming around, rather. Uh, I think it was a she. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Anyhow, I, I've never really had actually had a cat as my pet. Where did you go, you dingleberry? I don't know. He'll be back. Belongs to somebody, though. I don't know. Still a mystery. Man, I just cut my head. I sliced the fuck out of my head. Mm. Uh, okay, so that is what I've been. That's what's been going on with me, um, taking care of this cat that I've named Cecil after Cecil the lion. He, he's he's a little bit of a diva. He like would climb up on my chest and just sit there and stare at me like, "What's up?" And he likes to um, he runs his paws in his face through my beard. It's the weirdest thing. Like he gets real close to me and then he dips his head and he like pushes his face through my goatee. It's so weird. I don't know, maybe because he has a little goatee also, so we've made a connection. I, I don't know exactly what the fuck that's all about. Like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with cats. Uh, but he's a cool little dude, so. Um, I will, I will give updates on him as the days go by, but man, cowboys, better buckle up, bitches. It's gonna be nasty tomorrow. You, you bet, mm, boy, y'all are running your fucking cock holsters like, whew, I'm getting tired of hearing it, tired of hearing it. And I don't have like this, I was a cowboys fan as a kid. Staubach and Dorsett, Drew Pearson, um, Golden Richards, Randy White, Harvey Martin, Two Tall Jones. Those were my dudes, man. I loved the Cowboys in the 70s and the 80s. I even liked them in the 90s with Troy Aikman and uh, Michael Irvin and those guys. But So I don't have like this built-in hatred that a lot of people have towards the Cowboys. I, I really don't. But this week, leading up to this game, y'all are fucking pissing me off and I'm getting tired of hearing it um, so and here's what's gonna happen we're gonna beat him by fucking three touchdowns and then we're gonna have excuses well we didn't have Sean Lee and we didn't have Tyron Smith and Dak still young I don't want to fucking hear it man cuz I ain't hearing any excuses right now all I'm hearing is all the ways that you're gonna upset the 10 and 1 Saints and fucking shock the world so I don't want to hear a bunch of excuses when you get your asses handed to you like you're gonna get okay I don't want to hear it. I'm telling you right now, take the ass whooping like a man, and go back to your fucking practice facility and get better. 
I don't want to hear about injuries. We got injuries too. Our starting left tackle's out. Oh fuck! Our our number two receivers out. We got fucking, we got dudes playing on the team that that, that weren't even drafted. They just signed them off the streets. So I don't want to hear about injuries. Save it. Fucking making me mad. Okay, <laughs> I'm really not mad. I'm in a good mood. Um. Okay, so got that going on tomorrow. I'm still. If somebody comes forward and can identify Cecil, without question. Obviously, I will return him to his rightful owner. But it's been over a week now. So either someone really didn't care that he ran away or is just inbred and stupid and doesn't realize they've lost the fucking animal. I, I don't know. It, it, who knows? I'm surrounded by inbred hillbilly morons. Oh, boy. Okay. So... <laughs> Having said all that, I hope, I hope, um, everyone, oh, uh, Rock and Roberta was live today, your stream was fucking lit, it was fun, Roberta, I hope your back feels, gets better soon, um, I know all about back pain, I broke my back in 1989, and finally had fusion surgery in 2012, uh, so I know all about back pain, um, but the back pain you're describing doesn't sound like a bulge disc, it sounds like a muscle strain. Um, ice, rest. I know you don't like taking any kind of medication, but a mild, either anti-inflammatory or muscle relaxer would probably work wonders. Just throwing it out there. Uh, so, um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I'll be back tomorrow for sure. Hopefully earlier in the day when I've got a little more light. Actually though, the, the, the afterglow that I'm working with here isn't isn't bad. It isn't bad at all. It looks darker to me than it does on the lens. I'm looking through the viewfinder and it looks very well lit. So let's hope it is. I hope everybody has a great fuck. What is today? Wednesday. Right. Today's Wednesday. December's right around the corner, y'all. Boom. Friday, December 1st. I'm going to celebrate. That's when I'll do another video. I'll make a video on December the 1st. Because I love December. My birthday is in December. Christmas, and I love Christmas. I love it. I love the lights, and the music, and the cookies, and the parties, and the Christmas movies. I just love everything. I love everything about the holiday season. And I kind of look like Santa Claus. You know, if Santa Claus were to shave his head, kind of. Beards are the same color. Speaking of beard, I'm letting mine grow in for the winter. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a, I'll talk more about my love for the holiday season in my next video. But any of y'all that have known me for any length of time already knows. I get manic around the holidays. I love the cooler weather. I love hearing Christmas music. I love seeing lights on people's houses. Everything. There's so much negativity around Christmas and people being depressed and, and having all these reasons why they don't like it and they hate that they see Christmas decorations one day after Thanksgiving. No, man, I love it. I would love it if people put Christmas lights up and left them up year round. Love it. Talk more about that on Friday. Till then, I'm gonna go get Cecil back inside <laughs> and uh, I will talk to y'all later. Till my next video. Peace. I'm out. Everybody stay cool. We're so glad it's Christmas vacation. And when the nights are peaceful